So I was kind of waiting to talk about this situation because I thought that things would die down and I wouldn't really need to say anything about it. And ultimately, that is what happened. It died down. It's not really a big deal. And it almost never was in the first place. But I feel like it's kind of important just for me to get a statement out there anyway because, I mean, it's somewhat of an interesting topic. And, uh, well, someone who I consider a friend has been getting some sh recently on Twitter from freaks and I kind of think that I should be defending this person a little bit considering that I care about how they're seen in the public eye you know I do so as some of you guys probably know uh Wendigoon is a YouTuber who does I guess like a mix of like true crime with folklore with like religious stuff it's kind of hard to like pigeonhole him into one thing he blew up off the iceberg trend a few years ago since then he's been making a lot of different videos about different subjects one of my favorite recent videos he did was about the Unabomber it was a great video he just does these long in-depth videos where he sits down in front of his camera and he talks for for hours and hours about whatever is interesting him that week. It can be a book, it can be a movie, it can be a video game, it can be Dante's Inferno. I mean, really, the sky's the limit for what he's capable of doing. And I personally like his videos a lot. I'm a big fan of him. And I'm also his friend, which is why this is important for me to talk about right now. So Wendigoon, uh, he's from the South. He's religious. I believe he's a Sunday school teacher, actually. And he'll often talk about that in his videos because, I mean, that's who he is. <laughs> it's part of his personality. It's part of his life. He's going to talk about it in videos, right? And he's also, I mean, he's from the South. South. He's, I don't know about a redneck or a hick, but he's got a little bit of that in him. Uh, so he likes, he likes guns and trucks and stuff like that, like those guys do. You know, the good old boys. And I guess some people on Twitter uh, realized this all at once and decided that he was not only uh, a Christian YouTuber, uh, but he was also a Christian YouTuber and a racist, a fascist. He's far right in some way. And the reasons they had for this are completely ridiculous. One of the reasons they had was that he follows Kyle Rittenhouse on Twitter. I mean, first of all, sorry to break it to you. Kyle Rittenhouse was legally acquitted on all charges. He legally acted in self-defense. He's not a killer. He's not a murderer. He didn't do anything wrong. I'm sorry. That's what the law says. <laughs> it's not my fault. That's what it says. And even beyond that, I mean, Wendigoon following that guy on Twitter is not an endorsement of that dude's entire character. And let's say hypothetically, which this is not true, by the way, I'm just making this up. But let's say hypothetically he is friends with Kyle Rittenhouse somehow. If he's not talking about that in his content, then I see no reason that that should be an issue for literally anyone. Like if he's going to make videos about Kyle Rittenhouse and how awesome he is and how much he loves him, then and obviously, you can disagree with that and you can have a problem with it. But at this point, I mean, it's basically just speculating on who Wendigoon may or may not be behind the scenes without any real solid proof of anything as a reason to like cancel him or get people to stop watching his videos. Now, another thing people brought up is the fact that he's a gun owner, which is like, I don't know, I, <laughs> I think that's pretty badass. I don't see a problem with that, but some people, I guess, have an issue with that. Another problem that people have with him is that he's Christian and he's a Sunday school teacher, which I guess Twitter freaks think is a bad thing somehow. They think it's a bad thing to like be religious and devote your life to something greater than yourself. Um, can't imagine the kind of people that have a problem with that. I mean, we, we all know. We know. We know. And another issue they had with him is that he's friends with me. And I guess that I became like a contentious talking point in this entire conversation. There's that, there's that weird Turkey Tom. It's like a guy who does like, I can't tell if he's good or bad. I can't tell if he's like secretly sort of like super right wing conservative or not I can't tell but some of his work is interesting some of it's not so basically uh, because I'm his buddy uh, I went down to Tennessee to go to his wedding a few months ago it was a great wedding it was a lot of fun they had it at this cool like sort of 80s like bar dive bar motel with a pool it was it was it was a lot of fun everybody dressed up I had like a goofy outfit on so did everyone else I had a great time but I guess because I was there and because I'm obviously extremely racist according to Twitter I was like the connection between him him and the alt-right somehow. So I, so I guess I just like should make a statement here and get and get this out there because I've kind of avoided talking about this in the past because it's like it doesn't really benefit me I feel like to address it but I guess I'm going to do something dumb here because I feel bad that my friend is getting shit online. I think that racist jokes are funny. Sorry, I do. I think racist jokes are funny. I think edgy jokes are funny. I think racism can be funny. I mean that, that's just who I am at the end of the day. I'm sorry, I do. I don't think like institutionalized racism is a good thing. I don't think putting someone down for their race is, is a cool thing. Uh, I don't think, you know, not giving someone a job opportunity because they're black or something is a good thing. That's obviously, all of that is not cool. I think, like, Black Lives Matter is, is fine. It's a fine movement. I really don't care. I really have no qualms, and to be honest, I'm not a political person in general. In high school, I definitely was more political, but like, currently, I literally have no investment in politics. I didn't vote in the last election, which was the first one I would have been able to vote for. I didn't vote. I don't really care to vote. At the end of the day, my entire life, like, my entire life goal is, like, make good content, have fun doing it, meet cool people. But some of my favorite comedians like Louis C.K. or 
Shane Gillis. They will joke about very dark topics, about very sensitive subjects. And uh, it's it's kind of all about walking that line between like, is this <laughs> is this more f***ed up than it is funny? And definitely, you know, sometimes sometimes they cross that line and they miscalculate. Uh, but in my opinion, as long as they're not trying to actually do any, any real harm to the world, uh, as long as they're not trying to, you know, put people down, I really don't give a shit. I don't. And I'm sorry. That's just how I am. Obviously, that's, you know, cost me a few friendships in the past and stuff like that. Obviously, some people don't like that. That's totally their prerogative. You know, if it makes you mad that I think the N-word is funny, then I understand. And that's totally your position. But this is just how I am. This is who I am. This is how I've always been. Maybe in 10 years, I'll change. But at this point, I'm 21 years old. I'm a fully grown adult. I've been this way since I was like, you know, I don't know, since I started developing a sense of humor. That's just how I am. I'm sorry. Now, obviously, I wouldn't even blame any YouTuber uh, or like someone like Wendigoon for not wanting to like associate with me or be my friend because of that stance, uh, considering I say that openly. I know a lot of people will get for saying stuff like that or even being friends with someone. And in this case, Wendigoon did get a ton of for, for being my friend. I feel bad for him. I mean, people are speculating on him and his wife and whether they're both racist. That's horrible. That's awful. And it's just it's just these Twitter freaks that they just get a rise out of starting an issue over nothing. Um, in reality, all the Wendigoon is, is he's a YouTuber. He's a Christian. And I mean, he said as much in a tweet he made, actually. He said, some rude and slanderous things have been said about my character. And I just want to clarify that I'm not right wing or bigoted or anything besides thankful for my opportunity to make goofy YouTube videos. The only thing I believe in is loving God and my wife. Now, if it pisses you off a lot that he's a Christian, I mean, I guess you don't have to watch his videos. Uh, maybe you have some deep, dark trauma from Christianity. <laughs> Maybe you read Reddit too much. I don't know what your issue is, but I think to have a problem with someone because of their religion is silly. It's silly. Um, and that's, ironically, that is bigoted. <laughs> In the same way that these people complain about stuff like Islamophobia, you're being, is Christianophobia a word? Christianophobia, yo, shout out. Christian phobia, anti-Christian sentiment, Christianopho Christianophobia. I feel like if I say Christianophobia, it sounds like Christian. Christian, Christianophobia, Christianophobia. Guys, the Christianophobia has to stop. Just pull it with the anti-Christian remarks. Another thing that people had issue with, I guess, is that he's friends with Shu on Head, which I mean, to my knowledge, Shu on Head is like a leftist or something. She's left wing. Um, I mean, I guess back in the day, she made anti-SJW videos, but if that makes you all right, then there's a lot of people you guys need to start calling out too for being alt right. Overall, all this shit is kind of ridiculous. I, I feel bad for Wendigoon for getting in shit. I mean, obviously, you know, he's he's fine. He's a YouTuber who actually watches videos, don't actually care. And he has he has enough people that like his stuff that it doesn't really matter. But it is kind of sad to see these Twitter freaks going after him. And uh, ultimately, I think it says more about themselves and it says about him that they're mad about the fact that he's like a Christian Sunday school teacher and that's triggering them. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the world works in mysterious ways sometimes. If my personal testimony means anything, I wish Wendigoon would say the N-word way more and he never says it. So listen, he doesn't say it. He doesn't say it. We try to get it out of him. We try to squeeze it out of him. <laughs> he won't say it. Um, I'm just kidding, by the way. That's meta irony. That's just a joke. Um, he does not say it, though. He doesn't say it. But yeah, I think Wendigoon's a good dude. I think he's funny. I think he makes good videos. I'm excited for the projects he's working on in the future. Uh, I'm thankful to have him as my friend. He's, he's helped me a lot with stuff as far as like, you know, just content, you know, stuff. I think he's a nice dude. I think the people who don't like him are being silly. Uh, and I hope he continues to be successful. And I look forward to the people who hate him continuing to not be successful because that's all they are and ultimately i think part of the reason they're mad probably a lot of it is envy but uh yeah if you guys like this video be sure to leave a like if you dislike to leave a dislike drop a comment down below with your thoughts on all of this it's always good to hear what you guys have to say and i will catch you all in the next video super soon it might even be tomorrow the daily upload allegations are back uh and it, i guys there might there might be a new video tomorrow there might be mm hmm Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Uh, skibbity toilet. Uh oh. Stinky poop. <laughs> Poopies. And be sure to become a member. For $5 a month, they get the members only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get. Thanks so much for your support. No